Hey guys, Sean Evans here from Lift Hills and Thrills, and you've seen the title of the video, Pleasure Beach is planning something big. But it's not the only big thing that I want to talk about. It's today, they actually sent me, yes, Pleasure Beach, yes, I'm not making this up, Pleasure Beach sent me, of all people, goodies. Yep, I'm just as surprised as you are. If there's Journey to Hell stuff in here, I'm going to be bitterly, dis the irony, the irony. Let's open it up and see what's inside. Oh, there's goodies. Right, so I've got this gorgeous shopping bag. We have a little thing. Enjoy, love, retail. Oh, thanks so much, guys. See, I like retail. I do. They know what they're doing. They're so classy. We have... Ooh. Oh, it's the limited edition 94 Big One Retro Hoodie. So these have literally just been added. So basically... Pleasure Beach didn't have a celebration for, for Big One's big anniversary, uh, turning 30 years old, but um, they, they released merchandise for it. Oh, there we go. This is actually a snug fit. It's one of those comfy lounge hoodies. It's not too thick. We've got Big One down the side. We've got another hoodie. Once again, I'm going to have to do some globe magic. You know, I'm going to make the most of that globe magic, you know, while the globe's still standing. <coughs> We'll talk about that after. Just bear with me. Let me get changed. Three, two, one. There we go. Right, okay. So this hoodie has got a little bit more room in the actual hood itself. Like it's one of them ones, you know, like Kiddle Tud and Abel Tud. It comes all the way over. I don't like that on the back. It kind of reminds me of those people you see in the town centre with Juicy written on the back side. A piece of card. I guess that goes at the bottom of the bag to pad it out. Some customary rock. Strawberry flavoured rock. Project 94, like that. We have this, now I know exactly what this is. Project 94, Pleasure Beach, big one celebratory. A little, little medal. Looks like I'm doing that thing of Dragon Ball Z. Are you doing it? <laughs> Such a nerd. 100 out of 500 made. See, it's very apt that Pleasure Beach would send me big one merchandise because some big plans are coming to the theme park very soon. So whilst rocking my brand new swag, Pleasure Beach looked to be having a very exciting future. And you might be going, Sean, that's crazy talk. Now, cast your mind back six months ago when I said that Ice Blast was going to be dismantled. A project was going to be in place with a team to dismantle Ice Blast at the end of this year. Amanda Thompson comes out opening day of Blackpool Pleasure Beach at the time, or Pleasure Beach Resort, sorry, at the time, and said, it wasn't happening, it's getting apart, it'll be back open shortly. Six months later, that's still in the exact same position it was in before. Uh, so I'm under the impression that at the end of 2024, Ice Blast is still probably going to leave the resort. Now, there's a multiple reasons why I feel as though this is going to be the case, because that certain area of the park is a hotbed of activity that we're going to be seeing over the next three and four years, potentially. Maybe even work to start next year. There are certain things and mumblings going around within Pleasure Beach. Uh, there's people talking online, speculating about finances. They obviously recorded a loss. Hotels are completely separate from the park. The hotels are doing incredible. If Pleasure Beach know how to do something, it's hospitality. And the Big Blue, Big Blue, the Big Blue Hotel and the Boulevard Hotel are both prime examples of incredible hotels in Blackpool and an absolute testament to the park and a lovely compliment. To the park as well. It's just a shame that it's so different between how the hospitality is looked after and well run compared to the theme park, in my personal opinion. But I still love retail though, so it's okay. <laughs> Thanks guys. Despite financial issues, um, something's big is coming to Pleasure Beach. We did a video a couple of months ago as well saying a big investment was on the way. We know that Grand Prix is closed down. We know it's being replaced. It's going to be replaced with a roller coaster. I am 100% dead certain of that for reasons that I'll discuss shortly. Firstly, manufacturers have been spotted from three major manufacturers. I will not name said manufacturers, just in case I'm treading on any toes here, but meetings have been had. That is confirmed. That is something I've seen with my own eyes, especially when it comes to one of the manufacturers who were actually in Blackpool when 
I was like, oh, yeah, he must be here for that. There's a certain member of the person there that deals specifically with coaster sales. Why would he be here? There's probably a chat going on. Who knows? So that is where I've kind of got that from. They wouldn't fly over otherwise unless there was a sale or a discussion of a sale about to be made. So that is kind of my little tidbit of information that says that a coaster is 100% coming in that Grand Prix space as opposed to a flat ride. Now, since then, more rumours have been doing the rounds that the talks with the manufacturer that I saw around that Blackpool area have now faded away. So there's a hotbed of choices for Blackpool Pleasure Beach to make, but apparently what they were going with, that little narrow option, may not be the case anymore. Uh, we know that Pleasure Beach love to pivot. We know that they love to do things different. They love to do things that stand out. And for me, it's not a high thing that they'd be looking for. It has to be unique. It's got to be something that stands out and brings people back to the park. But at the same time, no matter what they build at those prices, still people aren't going to visit. If you build the biggest, tallest, best roller coaster in the world, if you keep the prices the same, they're still going to struggle. Now, what is the big project? Pleasure Beach clearly are losing money. The attendance this year is not great. Today's very busy because I think they've had school trips and stuff uh, at the moment. So at the moment, Pleasure Beach, as I'm speaking right this second, is actually busy on park today. But for the majority of the season, not the case. Where are the money going to come from? Could it be a council? Could it be a loan? Could it be something? There's a, there's a way that they're going to fund this next ride. But if they're going for that, why not spend extra money on infrastructure to build around the park and to improve the overall appearance of the park? As let's be honest, it's a little bit tired. You've got Ice Blast, which is, which is dead, right on your door as soon as you walk into the park. You've got River Caves, which is shut, which is potentially undergoing a massive refurbishment should they get big amounts of money. That's the only probably reason it's closed. Maybe there's a roof leak, maybe there's some other issues that we're not privy to. There's got to be money there to get that back up to scratch because that's looking tired as well. So there's money for that, Ice Blast, whatever's happening with that, if that's money for a repair or a replacement. There's money for uh, River Caves. Sky Force is rumoured to be um, on its way out um, in terms of how it looks now. Uh, will that ride stay in the park? Potentially. Could it be rethemed to something else? Yes, it absolutely could. So that is, a, once again, another project where there was also rumours of the Boulevard Car Park being extended to where Sky Force is, into the park. So that is extending the hospitality into the park and i could see that being very much a possibility once again if you've got hospitality doing better than the park hospitality bringing you the footfall which is slowly trickling like a sieve into the park what's the one thing you're going to improve on hospitality does that mean that pleasure beach could get an expansion to the hotel or even another hotel it's a very strong possibility. If you have got two very high performing hotels and you want to bring more foot form, offer a different experience to the two you've got already, building a new hotel is not out of the question. And with rumours of the globe going, potentially within the next year or two as well, there is a cool little option for them to have a, a hotel over the entrance or very close to the park entrance. Now that would be exciting indeed. The fact of the matter is they need some sort of financial aid because there's no two ways about it the park itself is struggling and the only way you're going to get out of that is spending money i feel as though it's a big gamble i feel as though if it doesn't pay off it could be a very worrying future for pleasure beach but if it does pay off then that might be the upswing that they so desperately need to attract people from blackpool straight back into the park again address the prices knock the prices down, increase the footfall, bring back the ability for people to walk around for a low cost. Because um, not everybody in the family is going to want to ride the big rides. Some people have to stay with the kids if someone wants to go on a ride. Implement a way of getting people into the park for a lower price. Charge extra for if you want to do all the rides and then a paper ride system or anything similar that has been done in the past that was successful and that it worked. I have no idea why they pivoted just as the same person who probably did the same idea for the stupid barriers that make no bloody sense when you're scanning your phone at every ride. The most pointless thing to ever come to Pleasure Beach. So when you get on park, it's actually annoying to go on rides. If your phone dies, you're kind of screwed. It's just annoying and it's tedious. And that's how operations of Pleasure Beach have been in terms of how the overall park looks, how it feels, how popular it is. It's just been tedious. It needs a change. It needs a big cash investment. It needs a big shake up. And then people will flock to it. If it's affordable, bring the people back to Pleasure Beach. 
not just keep building new things because it won't work if the prices stay the same. There's a big future ahead for Pleasure Beach and my God, I hope they make the right decisions so that it pays off for them. Thank you so much to the retail department for the merch. This is absolutely stunning. I absolutely love that. That's going to be pride of place in my little nerd cabinet. I'm going to go watch England struggle against whatever team they're playing today and I'll see you in the next one.